Okay, okay. Um, so we, we have a couple more, but they're very closely related to what we've uh, already discussed. I'm just going to jump forward to the individualist uh, portion uh, of, of this section. Uh, and the first one on there is uh, free love. And uh, uh, is it compatible with Vanu? I mean, uh, uh, Rayo had a, uh, a free mate. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely uh, compatible with Vanu. Uh, 100%. So there's no reason it wouldn't be. You know, uh, uh, the right of association and disassociation. Uh, disassociation. And, uh, yeah, you know, choosing a, a lover, a, a free mate, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's definitely compatible with Vanu. Yeah, I mean, the original conception of free love was was it's true that it was happening right about the same time there was kind of the vague hippie notion of it but suffice it to say free love was originally a, a libertarian effort to basically rebut the assumptions that uh marriage had to be essentially uh monopolized be monopolized by the state through a license so it's not even the marriage part of it that's necessarily the problem because remember marriages are a type of contract that pre-existed the state and a lot of it was to uh, was actually about property transfers without getting too historically specific. But it was about you know so about maintaining you know the the stability of property and so forth and and transferring title ownership and all that, whether it's lands or or cattle. If we're going really far back and so forth, uh, marriages preexisted the state. The main issue was about licensure, and other things related to that, like uh, you can't perform certain sex acts. You can't do this. Basically, the criminalization of, at worst, what would be vices, like prostitution, for example. So, yeah, free love was definitely a, a way to push back against all that and say, like, look, I mean, much like we can voluntarily associate with each other, well, one form of voluntary association is, quite frankly, romance. And to kind of ignore that or, or otherwise make these assumptions that, oh, well, of course we must get the marriage license and get permission from bureaucrats to basically do those types of things with our lovers that we were doing already beforehand, you see the problem. Mm -hmm. And because romance, um, or, or even just, well, I want to keep this PG-13, but, but even sexuality, uh, does deal with issues of hearth and home. And that is very much, uh, and protecting that, making that as invulnerable to coercion as possible, you know, the stability of all, and remember, sex created the family too. So making sure that issues related to hearth and home uh, is very much a concern and, and, and a goal and a focus of Vanu, very much so. Definitely. So, yeah, when Rayo talked about uh, his free mate, he talked about, I think he talked about Dr. G, right? Uh, yeah, and, yeah in, the, in the book, and then the, the name came out by Benjamin Best, Roberta. Yep. Right, yeah, his free mates. So yeah, the, the notion about you know free love of and all that. Now I know some people can get into the weeds and some people can do this, and maybe perhaps we should address this later. Uh, but like monogamy versus polyamory, right? And you know, at that point, as far as best as I can tell, that's all that's all personal choice type of stuff, right? You know, just because hypothetically, just because I drink whiskey doesn't therefore mean you must drive a pickup truck, right? This is, mm -hmm. That's not issues of, of ethics or, and morality of right and wrong and so forth. That's just individual market preferences. And regarding something like monogamy and, and polyamory, that, that, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, that's just individual market preferences too, isn't it? Whether you have mm -hmm. one lover or, or two lovers plus, right? Uh, the issue is, is not really about that. The issue is should the state dictate to people whom uh, they're going to love, whether whether it's a chaste romance type situation or if indeed sexuality is involved at least to a, one extent or another, right? That's the issue, and that's what the original free love advocates were about, not about breaking up the family like many of these disgusting conservatives like to insist upon that free love broke up the family. Uh-uh, we were trying to preserve the family, numbnuts, not go to a bunch of bureaucrats and legitimize the state through marriage licenses. <laughs> Hey, it's Jane here, one of the hosts of the Vanu Podcast. If this excerpt intrigues you or you think you might be interested in the subject matter, come give us a listen. We release podcasts every Tuesday, and you can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, and Google Play. Just search for the Vanu Podcast and find us at vanupodcast.com.